Chapter 8, Unmasking the Enemy In the ongoing secret meetings, Inspector Javits suspected the presence of a spy within Mr. Aga's house, leaking information to the saboteurs. However, Inspector Siddiqui had a different theory. He believed that the saboteurs had planted a tiny transmitter or FM microphone within Mr. Aga's house to eavesdrop and relay information. To test this theory, they decided to move all future meetings to a different undisclosed location away from Mr. Aga's house. The results were promising. However, the saboteurs adapted to this change in strategy. Instead of bombings, they began sowing the seeds of civil unrest, starting in Karachi. One morning during breakfast, Zishan confronted his father about the escalating situation. He showed his father the newspaper headlines, which depicted a grim state of affairs caused by these explosive incidents. Zishan expressed his concern and asked his father if they would take any action against these perpetrators. Mr. Aga, deeply troubled by the news, remained silent, offering no immediate response. Undeterred, Zishan sought answers from his mother as he continued reading the newspaper. The headlines narrated a harrowing story of violence. Shah Faisal Colony in Karachi had been set ablaze, resulting in the destruction of over a hundred houses and shops. The army had to intervene as the police struggled to control the situation. The newspaper reported that armed assailants had attacked Natha Khan Gadazimpara and Shah Faisal Colony at four o'clock in the morning. They ransacked homes, set fires, and unleashed violence upon the residents. Tragically, 11 people had lost their lives and 60 others were injured. The attackers employed modern weapons and daggers in their assault. Despite the police and administration's eventual arrival, they failed to quell the chaos. Facing an escalating crisis, a curfew was imposed in the area, and the army was summoned to restore order. Witnesses and victims' families spoke to the media, detailing the horrors they had endured. They lamented the government's silence and the transformation of Shah Faisal colony into a disaster zone. Zishan, having finished reading the news, questioned his father's opinion on the police's role in this incident. Mr. Aga, overcome with anger, abruptly stood up, clutching his stick and donning his cap. He left the house with determination, his footsteps echoing with purpose. Thank <laughs> you.